Wasichana zaidi ya mia moja kutoka shule kumi na moja katika kaunti ya Kwale wameshiriki masomo ya ziada ya sayansi, teknolojia, uhandisi na hisabati maarufu kama STEM yaliyoandaliwa na UNESCO Wizara ya Elimu na Taasisi ya STEM. Masomo hayo yaliandaliwa katika shule ya wasichana ya WA yanalenga kuhamasisha wanafunzi wa kike kukumbatia zaidi mtala ya sayansi, teknolojia na hisabati ili kuwa wabunifu zaidi. Lawrence Nganga anaarifu zaidi. Kongamano hili la siku tatu limeleta pamoja wanafunzi wasichana na kumi kutoka shule za upili moja za Msambweni na Matuga hapa kaunti ya Kwale. Shirika la UNESCO Wizara ya Elimu na Taasisi ya STEM zikiandaa warsha hii ili kuwafunza zaidi wanafunzi hawa ubunifu wa kisayansi, uhandisi na teknolojia. Science these innovations are very important for the country na ndio inji endelee mbele tungetaka wengi wawe wamefanya sayansi atahimiswa kwamba ukifundisha ama ukipeleka msichana shule ni jamii mzima umepeleka shule kwa hivyo pia ukifundisha wasichana sayansi na washike sayansi na wakuwe wana sayansia and then umefanya hivyo kwa jumuiya nzima and we aim to empower our young learners to bridge the digital divide to make sure that they are not left behind we want them to make smart choices in terms of their careers and also to improve their performance through hands on activities like robot building coding and also to enhance their key 21st century skills warsha hii kilenga kuwashawishi wasichana zaidi kukumbatia masomo ya sayansi teknolojia na hisabati ambayo yamekuwa yakipendelewa sana na wanafunzi wavulana unakuta kwamba hata kwenye kuajiriwa kazi vijana wavulana ndio wengi na hivi tunahimisa pia wasichana wachukue hizo subjects za sayansi ndio waweze hata kupata kazi za aina ya kisayansi science subjects they have a wider career choice unlike watoto wanapata marks nzuri lakini some careers hawezi kupasiu especially at the university kama wajafanya vizuri katika masomo ya science. Kwa hivyo and technology is the way to go. Tumeona wakati wa corona watu walifundishwa through through technology, through internet, through uh, virtual Uh, we also aim to create a favorable culture in STEM so because boys have always been taking a lead so why not our young girls to be among the pioneers and the innovators who we see uh, globally uh, coming up with innovations masomo ya sayansi yakisemekana kuwa yenye kutoa suluhu kwa changamoto nyingi zinazo kabili jamii like ukiangalia utaona kutoka kwa uh, even our own um, Uh, school logo uh, tumeitengeneza kutoka kwa a tank yenye ilikuwa imearibika uh, majiko pia zenye zimeazitumiki tena tunachukua tuna recycle tunatengeneza flower vases na reading tables na kutokana na hii stem camp ambayo imefanyika hapa wa girls shen kwetu najua itanisaidia pakubwa sana itaniongezea motisha ya kufanya sayansi vizuri. Okay. Through science you can be able to solve like some problems like let's say the environmental problems like drought, famine, floods and all that stuff. By learning biology you can like be able to know which type of diseases like spreading to some people in a certain area. Lawrence Nanga Runinga ya Citizen County ya Kwale.